Oh, now you are in for it. Yeah, this is um, <clears throat> like being in school or something. And um, I meant to show you on the Poly 61, uh, these are rubber contacts that uh, I'm trying to see the one that's, oh yeah, there it is, okay. See, one has a rip in it here. This happens, and that pretty well ends their life when that happens. Um, these things, I can rejuvenate these sometimes. There's a special technique I use to get the conductivity back, and I know just how much um, and how to measure them. It's a very elaborate process, so they're so cheap to ship. Just send them to me if you ever need these rejuvenated, and I will do that for you for a minimal charge uh, compared to throwing your keyboard away. No. <laughs> But um, this is uh, conductive Im material impregnated into a silicon rubber type material, from what I understand. And uh, it is, you know, when the key is hit, this presses down on a couple contacts below. And these uh, keyboards, the uh, the memory Moog uses this. The the Oberheim OB8 uses this type of keyboard. The earlier ones used the. Um, the real early OB8s and OBXAs use the Pratt Reed uh, type assembly, which is more reliable. But uh, the later ones use that, the Poly 6, the Poly 61. Um, Kawaii's pretty much all use that type of a uh, thing, and uh, just lots of different uh, Korg and um, later, uh, well, yeah, Roland's after the, uh, in the 80s, most of the Roland ones started using this type of thing also.